I'd like to welcome 19 uh, grade 10 students from the Melville Comprehensive School. Uh, they're accompanied by their teacher, who is also a city councillor, Andy Rondo. Mr. Rondo is a regular attendee of the legislature. I think he has been here almost every year that I've been here, and uh, I know he always has his students very well prepared for some great questions after. So I'd like all members uh, to welcome the Melville Comprehensive uh, School to their Legislative Assembly. Mr. Speaker, and also with us today, I have uh, Jimmy Lauer, seated at the top of the, uh, of the West Gallery. Jimmy's a, uh, a grade six student, 12 years old, voracious aptitude for political uh, information. He's uh, a student of Gormley, loves Winston Churchill, really will take anything political on. And I know I've talked to a few members about Jimmy's background, and they said, boy, he reminds me of them. So uh, he, uh, he indicates that he's uh, highly skeptical of news from many sources, does have a Twitter handle though now, so he wants to stay engaged in, in the political process. We had some really great questions today, including what does he need to do to replace me, Mr. Speaker? So, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I stepped into that one. <laughs> and also with, uh, with Jimmy today is his mom, Tara Lauer, who's the Marketing and Training Coordinator for the Churchbridge Credit Union. She just did, uh, completed a financial literacy trade school for our grade 11 and 12 students in Langeberg and Churchbridge, and it was very well uh, uh, received. It even gained some national attention. So I'd like uh, all members to welcome Tara and Jimmy to their Legislative Assembly. Yeah. 